Okay, hello everyone. So, uh, we're, I just I just did a bed log and I saved you guys the trouble of um, seeing and experiencing all that. But anyways, uh, it put me in the middle of the sun. But what I was trying to test was, uh, there's a known issue right now where in 3.11.0, 3 um, sometimes whenever you bed log and you, and you had vehicles loaded in your ship, sometimes they just simply clipped through the ship. It didn't matter if they were on a planet or a grid, it did not matter. So, um, and I was just testing here and I wanted to see, and, uh, but you can see my, uh, my gray cat still in there. So, uh, but anyways, that was one thing that I was testing with the, uh, the bed log. Unfortunately, uh, I ended up in a infinite loading screen a couple of times and I literally, I, you know, I had to quit the client, come, come back in and just test a couple of times, uh, over and over and over again. Eventually I got back in and it put me in the middle of the sun. That's not so new. We've, we've all experienced that. So, but anyways, the other thing that I wanted to test and I've already somewhat done it is the um, ground vehicle sliding around and I tested it on Microtech but I I really wanted to test and see if you know with the rock I wanted to see if, if it's actually fixed or if it's you know hit or miss so let's go and check those out over there. So anyways we just came down to a random spot on Aberdeen and I'm just gonna go and I'm just going to go and check the... Oh! What was that? That was a lot of rocks right there. There we go. What are they? They are... Ooh, these are the best ones. The invisible ones. <laughs> Let's see. These are... Patonite. These look like hand mineables. Look at the mass on them. See how the mass is 0 0.11? Look scan this one. 0.11. Yeah. Uh, I believe that these are hand mineables. So... But anyways, I'm going to go and check this other cluster out over here real quick. I think I saw another... another box. I believe it was this way. So, you can mine the hand mineables with the rock, um, but I wanted to test on something a little bit more durable. So. Yeah, see 0 0.84? That's, that is a ROC mineable. Okay. So, and again, I, I wanted to specifically test these, so. Landing gear deployed. So one other thing that I noticed is uh, that we have new sounds. So check this out. Engines offline. Say. Engines online. So they added an they added an Atari in here. So, but let's go and check. Let's go and see how this is. Falling through. Systems activating. Systems on.
gosh, look at that. That was instant. So I know a lot of people might be like going, why is he so excited about that? Well, the <laughs> right now in 3.11.0, the, uh, the, the extraction mode is absolutely horrible. So, I mean, you could spend a, a couple of minutes just extracting a rock. So uh, that's been broken down. So it's good to see that that's at least been addressed in this patch. Look at that, yeah. It's, uh, well, no, hold on. Is it slow? Oh, okay, it stopped. Okay, well, uh, we just recovered from a, uh, a crash to desktop. I was, you know, I pressed Y to get out of the Great Cat Rock, and, um, but, I mean, the good thing is, is, you know, we got what we needed, and that is the test to see if the Great Cat Rock's extraction mode was working any better. It's no longer sliding. Um, there's obviously still issues with bed logging and the crashing is probably just related to, you know, being PTU. So, but anyways, I, I hope you guys find this video helpful and informative and, uh, yeah, hope, hope y'all enjoyed.